So I'm going to show you now how to um, figure out the number of lattice points of a simple cubic cell, a body-centered cubic cell, and a face-centered cubic cell. Okay, so what the number of lattice points is like, how many total atoms are within the actual unit cell itself, okay? So, when we look at this, we'll draw some cubes. Okay, so simple cubic, what did we say? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that, right? The body center, cubic, So the body center has the same uh, eight as the simple cubic. But in the very middle, in the center of the body, there's a full atom. Okay, is everybody okay with thinking like that? And then the face center cubic Center cubic has the same eight as the simple. Okay, but now in the middle of all of its faces, it's got an atom. So, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Is everybody okay with that? Any questions about any of this stuff as to why they're called these things? Okay, so now let's think about the lattice points. Okay, so like I said, we're trying to determine, well, how many actual atoms are within that unit cell, okay? So there's eight atoms associated with a simple cubic. Everybody's okay with that, right? So we call the number of lattice points Z. So Z is going to be, well, eight. We get that from the, that number there, just counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we have to ask ourselves, excuse me, um, how, thank you, how much of that actual atom is within that unit cell? Well, if you look at it and think about it, you'll find that it's only one eighth of that, that atom, okay? So what we do to find the number of lattice points is say one eighth times eight, or eight times one eighth, like that, and that equals one. Okay with that? So number of lattice points for this one, what are we going to do, do you think? At least the first part is going to be same as this, right? Does that make sense? Because there's eight on the outside, and how many of each of those atoms is in within the unit cell? One eighth of them, right? Okay, so it's eight times one, one eighth, like that. But is there anything else inside of that <coughs> cell? What? A whole atom, right? So it's eight times one eighth plus one. Does that make sense? So, Z is going to be two for those ones. Is that cool? 
and then for the last one, so is there going to be something similar on this one? What is it going to be? Eight. Yep. Times one eight. eight times one eight. Now we're going to add something to this one. Six. Right. Plus six. And can anybody figure out how much is inside? Right. Half of it. Right. Right? Because they're all cut in half by the sides of those walls. Oh. Okay? So what is this? That's 1 plus 6 times a half, 3. So Z equals 4. So number of lattice points for FCCs are always 4. Number of lattice points for VCCs are always 2. And then number of lattice po points for simple cubics are always 1. Or primitive cubics, you might see these called something. Okay? Question? Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh huh. Yeah. So remember that uh, diagram that we showed earlier where there's going to be another cube. Like that, right? So this one is going to be half on inside this one and half inside the bottom one down there. One eighth inside the top one, one eighth inside the bottom. Is everybody okay with that? This is a good question.